Hi, this is Destiny from Desix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management series using Django. In this one, we will go ahead and start working with the coupon feature in the hotel management system, which means users will be able to apply coupons from the checkout page, which was provided to them by the hotel management. And we will validate the coupon to see if it's still valid or if such coupon exists. And if all those conditions are met, we will go ahead and actually activate the coupon and apply the respective discounts that should be applied. That is what we'll be working on. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. The very first thing will be to open up the code editor and come over to the checkout HTML and actually locate the coupon form, which is this one over here. Now, if you want, you could go ahead and this should be post. You can remove the action. We don't need that. And I want you to pass in a CSRF token here. And for the coupon, I want you to pass in the name as, you could just pass in code and make the input to be type submit. Okay, you can actually use button if you don't want to use input. It's totally up to you what you want to use. Now that you've added the name, come over to the views py. And over here, let's check if request.method is equal to post. Let's go ahead and get the code that the user passed into the input field by saying code should be equal to request.post.get. And what did we call, what did we pass in as the name attribute? Code. Okay. So now let's print code and see what we have. So check if your server is running and let's try this out. Just reload this page. And over here, I will pass in destiny one and apply. And let's check out our terminal to see destiny one. That is cool. So now we can get the code. What we want to do after getting the code is check if there is a coupon that exists with this code that is passed in, because you can see the coupon model over here has a field called code. So we could say coupon should be equal to coupon dot object dot get where code is equal to code okay or you can see where code is equal to underscore underscore i exact equal to code which means users should be able to pass in exactly what was passed into the code before we can filter it and that should be it for now you can also check by active should be equal to true all right so if this coupon exists, let's print coupon. So what you can now do is put this in a try catch. I will say try to run this code. If the coupon doesn't exist, instead of breaking the whole program, then print coupon does not exist. But if it exists, print coupon. And this is the coupon that should be printed coupon. So now our code should rerun or uh, you can break out from your server and rerun the code. And um, let's try this out again. So I will reload this page and add in another coupon and hit apply. So let's see what's happened here. See, coupon does not exist, which means a coupon with such code destiny one doesn't exist. Let's quickly look at the admin section coupon. Okay, I think I haven't registered that yet. Let me quickly register it here in the admin. So register coupon. And let's see, there you go, coupon. So now let's create a new coupon with the code destiny one. The discount should be 2%. You can add the valid from and valid to. And, um, that should be it. Save this. Okay, what does it need? It says the valid form need. Okay, this one too needs to be here. So save this and let's try out this again. So I'll pass in destiny one and apply. And let's see if this coupon exists or not. See, coupon exists. So coupon destiny one exists. All right. So if this coupon exists, instead of printing, what we want to do is go ahead and um, let's firstly check if coupon is in booking dot 
coupon.org. Let's check out the booking model firstly. So the booking model doesn't have any field called coupons because we need a field here called coupons that will save all the coupons that have been passed into that booking so that users don't activate the coupons two times. As soon as a booking is applied, as soon as a coupon is applied to a booking object, we want to save instance of that coupon. So if a user try activating it again, it will show, hey, you have already activated it. That is how to keep track of it. So in your booking model, you want to add a new, um, a new coupons model or a new coupons field, not a model. And this one should be models the many to many field of the coupon, but blank can be true. Okay. So let's see if you can access the coupon from here because it was defined below. See where it's defined. You can now say something like wrap this in the string and say hotel.coupon. Okay. So after passing it in like this, all you need to do is go ahead and run Python manage py make migrations and also Python manage py migrate migrate. After we've done this, then I will run my server again. Okay, so if coupon exists here, what do we want to do? Let's show a message, messages dot warning. And what do we want to say? We want to say coupon already activated. Okay, so let's try this out. Else. Um, I want to say coupon activated. This one should be a message success and not warning. Okay. And after we've done this, we still want to return ourselves back to the, to the checkout page. So return back to hotel checkout and make sure that we have the booking dot booking ID passed in. And also if the coupon is activated, we will also return back to the checkout page after showing the message. So let's try this out. Enter a coupon code, hit apply. This one should show coupon doesn't exist. Now enter a coupon that exists and hit apply. See, coupon activated, that is nice. So it shows coupon activated because over here in the booking object, we don't have any coupon here, right? Now, what we can do is this. Let me get back to the coupon, to the coupon model, which is this one over here. So if a coupon has been already activated, there is nothing that we need to do there again. But if a coupon hasn't been activated, it's before showing the message activated, let's actually activate the coupon for them. So the first thing that we want to check is this. I will say the discount should be equal to the booking dot total booking dot total times coupon dot discount divided by 100. So if, for example, the booking total in our case here is 1,320 and also the booking or the discount is, let me check, what was the discount here? That was two, okay, let me see, I wanna make the discount to be 20% off, see, 20%, and um, back to the 20%, please remember that, then back here, we have 1,320, okay, as the main total. So using the formula that we just wrote now, it will be the total, which is 1,320 times the coupon discount, which is 20%, right? Let me confirm that. Mm, coupon. Uh, yes, 20%. So 1,320 times 20 should be 26,400 divided by 100 based on the formula that we have over here. We should now have um, I, 260, 
264. Yep. So let me quickly pull out my calculator just to be sure of this. 1320 times 20% off. Yep. Then divided by 100 should be 264. There you go. So we, are, we will give them $264 off of 1320 But before I do that, before I do this, I want to check for something. If coupon.type is equal to percentage, percentage, that is only when we want to get the discount by percentage. Else, if it's something else, then let's just say discount should be equal to coupon.discount. So if it's percentage, we want to get the percentage or calculate this in percentage. If it's not, we just get, grab the discount, okay? So now that we've done this, all we can do is go ahead and update the booking object. So we can say booking dot, let's start by adding the coupon. So we can say bookings dot coupon dot add. I want to add this coupon that the user is activating now to the booking. And what else do I want to do? I want to say booking dot total should be minus equals the discount. I also want to say booking dot saved should be plus equals the discount. And finally, booking dot save. So when you've done this, show the message coupon activated. And I think that should be pretty much it. Else coupon does not exist or coupon not found. And let's get back to this page. Instead of printing coupon not found, please, I want you to set it as a message, okay? So set it as a message and do not forget to pass in request here. Okay, so let's try this out now and see if it will work as expected. I will start off by passing in the coupon that doesn't exist. It says success missing non-positional argument message. So messages.success requests, then the message there. Let me rerun my code again, just to be sure that we don't have that bug. There you go. So you see coupon does not exist. Coupon doesn't exist should be message.error, okay? Now let me try this out again. See, coupon does not exist. That is nice. And you can see over here in the, in the booking, in the booking, we don't have anything showing up in the coupon. And also the saved is 0, 0.00. So what I want to do now is pass in the coupon that does exist and hit apply. See, coupon activated. If you scroll down, can you see that they saved 264 bucks and the total has been updated? That is because 1320 minus 264 is 1056. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, how about this user try applying this coupon again? It will show coupon already activated. That is because you can now see that we have stored this coupon here in the booking to prevent the user from entering the coupon two times. So that is pretty much it for the coupon. As you can see, it's working perfectly well as expected. Then in the next tutorial, we will then go ahead and pay for this using Stripe and PayPal. That is what we will be doing then. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. Do make sure to check out some of the courses in the description below. One of them should help you become even a better Python Django developer. I hope to see you in the next video. If you have any question, drop it in the question in the comment section below. If you want to chat privately, you can send me a message on Twitter. The username is Desfix. Also consider dropping a follow there as I post daily tips to help you become a better web and mobile app developer. That will be it. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.